Essex completed a comprehensive seven-wicket win on day three of their LV County Championship match in Canterbury, a result which hampers Kent's promotion push but keeps Essex in with a shout. This game was just about over in the morning session as Kent, resuming on nine for three in their second innings, 38 runs adrift, were bowled out. Brendan Nash fell to the 20th ball of the day, LBW to Morris Chambers. Michael Powell soon followed, edging an away swinger from Chambers behind, a wicket which left Kent on 26 for five. So half their men were back in the pavilion by the time the first innings deficit of 47 was knocked off. Alex Blake and Darren Stevens now needed to produce a substantial partnership if their side were going to have any chance of winning a game that would have put them into the promotion places. But four wickets in the space of half an hour put this game beyond them. Stevens was legged before to Graham Napier for a top score of 22. Blake went in the next over, lobbing a simple catch to Chambers off a wide short ball from Harbhajan Singh. Azar Mamu drove his first delivery straight to Jake Mickleborough in the covers to leave Kent on 65 for 8. And Geraint Jones was taken at leg slip by Ryan Tendiscarta off Harbhajan with a total now reading 83 for 9. So it was left to the last pair of Matt Coles and Charlie Shrek to try to somehow set a challenging target. They did at least take the total past three figures, but with it on 101 and the field spread far and wide, Coles managed to find Harbajan at mid-wicket to give Chambers figures of four for 31. David Masters didn't bowl at all because of a side strain. It had been a sorry morning for the home side, who'd left Essex with only 55 runs to get. They did lose Mickelbro with just four runs on the board, but Tom Wesley and O.A. Shah then struck some boundaries to ease any nerves. Not that there really should have been any. Azar Mahmood bowled Wesley through the gate for 14 at 19 for 2. And there were thoughts that had Essex been set a more difficult challenge, they may have struggled. As it was, Mark Bettini and Shah tried to get the game finished in a hurry with some aggressive shots. 20 more were wanted when Shah mistimed a pull off Shrek and was caught by Blake for 13. But that was Kent's last success. Patini cut Stevens to the boundary, while Tender Scarter drove Adam Riley over the top for a maximum. Then, next ball just before 3 o'clock, Tender Scarter nudged the single his side required to take Essex to their second win of the summer. They took 21 points for their seven-wicket win, a result which puts them into fifth place in the second division table, one place and 13 points behind Kent, who were only able to take four points from this match. Derbyshire are now looking very good at the top, but plenty of other sides are now vying for second spot.